Welcome back, everybody. So, you know, 2020 has certainly been, a, it was a tough year. We're only, what, 21 days now into 2021. Um, and things, you know, we're starting to look a little positive, maybe. It's a good idea to at least try to do exactly that. Looking for positives can be a struggle, but we do have help here for you. In fact, we have the CEO of Optimist Daily joining us this morning, Summers McKay. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on for this conversation. I'm doing great today. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I know that's actually a, a helpful question to ask people these days. It uh, is. Brighten things up, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about your, uh, you know, Optimist Daily, first of all. What is that? What's kind of the message that you hope to get across? Well, at the Optimist Daily, we publish hundreds of positive news stories every month. We basically go out and find all of the best news, solution makers, creative ideas, people who are looking for ways to change the world for good. So you get a, if you subscribe, it's a free subscription, you get a massive daily dose of positive solutions every morning, and it just kind of kicks off your day. Uh, our, our goal is to start your mornings better. I know that's probably what you guys do too. We really want people to start with a positive mindset every single morning. We try our best to smile through, but you know, it was a tough <laughs> yeah. year, 2020. And um, how do you think people, like how do you think that helped people? What can we do looking ahead now to the future? Well, look, 2020 was an absolute doozy. So as we sort of embark on 2021, it is not the year for big, expansive New Year's resolutions. Instead, it's like a great time to focus on things that we can change and impact. So number one thing we say at The Optimist Daily, and, and we know the science behind this, is that when you commit to something you will do versus something you won't do, you're more likely to stay committed. So we have some commitments that we think will make your lives better. Uh, one is commit to someone you can impact, someone you can inspire. When there's a face or a name or a person behind your resolution, you're more likely to stick to it. Next, please, please, please commit to doing something good for yourself every single day. Just something good, something positive that's going to make you feel better. And then kind of the last point that we really want to encourage people is to commit to your heart and your mind to find positive stories, positive you know, media that inspires and empowers and amuses you. Really like just take a step into a positive direction because optimism is a pragmatic practice. You've got to do it every day. And if you do, your life is greatly improved. I love that. I mean, even just looking at that list, I felt better. Yes. <laughs> it didn't stress yes. me out like most to-do lists. So thank you for that. My, uh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and, and that's why we kind of kick off every day with five positive stories because if you read five positive things you're more likely to have a lifted mindset and it's it's all about increasing the positive and decreasing the negative that we see on a regular basis and yeah of course i mean plenty of news stories we do see negative but there's so yeah. much positive in this world too that you know we all do our best to try to share uh, you're the ceo of optimist daily but you tell us about running with kenyans how are you involved what was that all about Oh, thank you for asking about that. So uh, long ago, I wrote a book with a colleague, um, Dr. Andy Baldwin, and we wrote a book together about his experience journeying uh, to Kenya and running both the um, uh, the Kenyan Marathon and the New York City Marathon and his work as a doctor in Africa. So it was an extraordinary experience. It really anchored my writing career of saying, where do we find really good stories? Where do we find positive people who are doing good and Dr. Andy Baldwin was definitely one of those people who who at the beginning of my writing career inspired me a huge part. And now look at you uh, helping share positive messages uh, with your yeah. readers and tell us again, you said it was free and all people have to do is log online, right? Right. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. You go to optimistdaily.com and you sign up for the free subscription for the newsletter. You will get five positive solutions delivered to your inbox every single morning. Consider it kind of like your daily skim of positive news. And then if you don't want the email, you can also follow us on social. You can listen to the Optimist Daily up Update, which is a morning podcast with myself and my colleague Christy Jansen, where we talk about the positive solutions that are in the news every single day. Yeah. I was just scrolling uh, moments ago and they saw, you know, articles about our climate, the positive changes yes. with that. And uh, so, yes, you are on it, which is great. Uh, before we leave, Summer, 
viewers, if you can share just another message with our viewers, how do we stay positive when things are maybe feeling kind of low? Uh, what would you like to kind of send off to our viewers? When, you know, when you're feeling low, the, the most important thing to remember in positivity is that there is always darkness, but the light comes through. And so when you're really feeling low, no, don't try to fix the feelings, just know and acknowledge that the tough times are here, but the good kind, good times are coming and that there is good opportunity ahead. You just have to dig into it and recognize that through effort, positive actions can come. And there are a lot of people out there working hard to create solutions and to create a better tomorrow. So look for them, find them, work with them, but don't beat yourself up if you're feeling negative. That's kind of where we all are at times, uh, but there is a brighter day the next day. And I'll remember what was on your list, one of the big ones that stood out for me, just do something good for yourself, right? Yes. It seems so yes. uh, simple, but also something we always forget because you get busy with other things and do anything that feels good, right? <laughs> exactly. Like you know, this morning I did yoga with my 18 month old. My good yeah. for myself this morning was I put on yoga and I let her run around me and knock me over while I did 15 minutes of stretching and it made everything better. <laughs> Summers, I feel like me, you, and our babies need to do exactly, that's exactly what we do in our living room. Our, my daughter it, climbs all over me during downward dog and all kinds of poses, but it's good. <laughs> but we're setting great examples, right? Our, our little yeah. ones are gonna end up being yogis far better than we were. <laughs> <laughs> she already is. I, I don't know how she splits the way she does, but thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Nada. Thank you so much for having me today. This has been really fun. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Great. Feeling optimistic, already guys Stella and Eric I mean just talking to Summers it helps yeah.